NASA's billion-dollar spacecraft have just unveiled their long-awaited images of 3i Atlas, our third interstellar intruder. But instead of awe-inspiring portraits, the official gallery is mostly blurred blobs and unresolved mysteries. Despite the hype, the closest shots fail to reveal a solid nucleus, while ground-based amateurs capture sharper detail with off-the-shelf gear. What is really being left out of NASA's story and why might the biggest scientific stakes be hiding in what we cannot see? This is where the search for answers begins. NASA's communications team set the tone early with a campaign that felt as much like a media event as a scientific milestone. In November 2025, the agency brought together data from nearly 15 different spacecraft and telescopes, a lineup that included heavyweights like the James Webb Space Telescope, Hubble, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MAVEN, LUCY, PUNCH, and even the Perseverance rover's MASTCAM Z. All eyes turned to the official gallery, a collection meant to showcase coordinated global effort and technological reach. The centerpiece was not just the images themselves, but the way they were introduced. NASA staged a live-streamed walkthrough, highlighting each mission's contribution and underscoring the sheer scale of the operation. The event opened with a clear, almost rehearsed statement that 3i Atlas is a comet. Before most viewers could type their first question, the broadcast addressed the usual speculation. No, it is not an alien probe, and yes, the science is solid. The communication staff steered the conversation firmly, presenting the gallery as the product of a unified multi-mission push while preemptively closing the door on wilder theories. The gallery itself reflected this framing. Each image was paired with mission logos and technical summaries, emphasizing the diversity of vantage points and the expertise behind every pixel. The message was clear. This was a rare planetary scale collaboration and the public was invited to witness the best humanity could muster. Expectations were set high, not just for scientific discovery, but for a visual experience worthy of the moment. In the background, the agency's outreach teams worked to keep the narrative focused, guiding attention to the official story and the significance of the comet label. The stakes were not just scientific, they were about trust, reputation, and the power of first impressions. Hubble's image, taken on July 21st, arrived with the weight of its legacy. For decades, Hubble has set the gold standard for deep space imaging, capturing galaxies and nebulae with breathtaking clarity. Yet its portrait of 3i Atlas fell far short of the drama its reputation promised. The July data revealed a faint, grainy patch. No sharp nucleus, no intricate jets, just a diffuse glow lost in digital noise. The technical summary gave a nucleus diameter below 5.6 kilometers, but the visual impression was little more than a smudge. Even after careful processing by the Hubble team, the structure remained unresolved, the comet's core buried beneath the haze of its own coma. The James Webb Space Telescope, touted as the most advanced observatory ever built, followed with its own attempt on August 6th. Anticipation ran high. Webb's infrared vision had already delivered stunning images of distant exoplanets and star-forming regions, but the 3i Atlas image told a different story. Instead of crisp features, Webb's data showed a patch of pixels, structureless, ambiguous, almost abstract. The nucleus and jets, if present, were completely swamped by the surrounding cloud. For all its power, Webb could not pierce the veil of gas and dust, leaving scientists with more questions than answers. Both teams acknowledged the limits. Hubble's aging optics, Webb's infrared filters, and the sheer distance to 3i Atlas all played a part. The comet's coma, thousands of times brighter than the core, overwhelmed the detectors. Even the most sophisticated calibration and stacking routines could not conjure detail from the blur. The flagship telescopes, built to reveal the universe's secrets, found themselves outmatched by a transient visitor from beyond the solar system. The result was a visual letdown, a reminder that even the best technology has boundaries, and that sometimes the cosmos keeps its mysteries close. HiRISE, the powerful camera aboard the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, was tasked with a rare challenge on October 2nd to capture a close-up of an interstellar comet from nearly 19 million miles away. The result, after weeks of anticipation, was a single, bright blob, 
No sharp edges, no visible core, just a diffuse glow lost in the surrounding haze. The high-rise team, known for revealing Martian landscapes in stunning detail, found themselves working at the edge of what their instrument could do. With each pixel covering about 20 kilometers, the entire nucleus of 3i Atlas was compressed into a single unresolved point, drowned out by the brightness of its own coma. NASA's official estimate, drawn from this image, put the nucleus somewhere between 1,400 feet and 3.5 miles across. That range is wide, and it is built on models that try to separate the light from the nucleus and the surrounding dust cloud. The brightest pixel sets an upper bound, but without resolving the core, the real size could be much smaller, or, as some outside researchers argue, even larger if the coma is unusually dense. The high-rise team's technical notes mention the limitations, a partial CCD failure reduced color coverage, and the extreme distance forced them to push their calibration routines to the limit. Stacking and background subtraction could only do so much against the overwhelming glare of the coma. Behind the scenes, there is a sense of frustration. Billions of dollars in spacecraft and decades of engineering pointed at a cosmic visitor, yet the best NASA could offer looked more like a street lamp in fog than a portrait of an alien world. The high-rise scientists defended their work as unprecedented. No one had tried this before, and the physics of imaging such a faint, fast-moving object from Mars orbit is unforgiving. Still, the image left many wondering if the cost and effort justified the result, and whether the technical limitations were being fully acknowledged in the agency's public narrative. The unresolved nucleus, the wide uncertainty in size, and the fuzzy, anticlimactic image all point to a need for new approaches and perhaps a broader conversation about what these missions are really able to show. MAVEN's ultraviolet spectrograph delivered a breakthrough that cut through the haze of visual disappointment. In early October, while other missions struggled to resolve the core, MAVEN recorded a hydrogen envelope stretching nearly 33,000 miles across, far beyond the bright compact coma visible in optical images. The IUVS team at the Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics worked from a vantage point of about 20 million miles from 3I Atlas, using Lyman Alpha emission to map the distribution of neutral hydrogen. Their data revealed not just a dense core, but a vast halo of gas, so large it dwarfed the object itself and extended far into space, shaped by sunlight and the solar wind. This envelope is not just a cloud of neutral atoms. Once gas and dust leave the surface and move into sunlight, they begin to break apart and ionize. Photoionization, charge transfer from the solar wind, and high-energy electron impacts all strip electrons from atoms, turning a neutral cloud into plasma. The presence of such a large hydrogen envelope means that ionized material surrounds 3I Atlas, creating an environment where electric and magnetic fields become as important as gravity or sunlight in shaping what we see. The MAVEN team's models link the observed ultraviolet brightness directly to hydrogen production rates, taking into account solar activity and the comet's distance from the sun. They estimate that a significant fraction of the hydrogen is already ionized and that the rate changes with solar wind conditions. This is a dynamic system, not a static one. The size and shape of the envelope can shift in response to solar outbursts, with plasma processes driving rapid changes in the comet's appearance. For many plasma physicists, this is the main event, a living, reactive environment that is often overlooked in favor of traditional comet models. As MAVEN continued to monitor the hydrogen cloud, anticipation grew for what might happen if a major solar eruption were to strike this plasma-rich envelope directly. October brought a rare kind of suspense to the solar physics community. Solar observatories tracked a coronal mass ejection, an immense burst of plasma and magnetic field, leaving the sun and heading straight toward 3I Atlas. Calculations from multiple heliophysics teams converged on a prediction. The CME would reach the comet around October 22nd, just after noon universal time. For researchers, this was more than a calendar note. It was a natural experiment unfolding in real time, with the potential to reveal how interstellar comets interact with the sun's most powerful outbursts, the anticipation was palpable across mission control rooms and university labs. 
Plasma physicists and comet specialists watched space weather dashboards and data feeds, counting down to the expected impact. MAVEN, orbiting Mars, and the PUNCH satellites, scanning the inner solar system, were tasked with monitoring the hydrogen envelope and tail for any sudden changes. If the CME struck as predicted, it could trigger a tail disconnection event, a phenomenon where the plasma tail is literally severed and swept away by the shock front. Such events are well documented in classic comets, but never before observed in an interstellar visitor. The timing was precise. Solar wind models, updated hourly, showed the CME's leading edge moving at nearly 1,000 km per second. Instruments were set to record every possible detail, shifts in ultraviolet brightness, changes in the hydrogen cloud's extent, and any abrupt reorientation of the tail. For a brief window, all eyes were on 3I Atlas, not just as an astronomical curiosity, but as a laboratory for plasma physics. The coming hours promised a direct test of theory against nature, with the outcome uncertain and the stakes high for anyone invested in understanding how the sun shapes the fate of objects passing through its domain. Punch and Lucy, two of NASA's more specialized missions, added a twist to the story of 3I Atlas. In late September and early October, Punch's wide-field cameras recorded the comet as a faint dot trailing a short, stubby tail. The tail seemed almost clipped, barely a fraction of the long sweeping structure seen in classic comets. At first glance, it looked like a physical feature, raising questions about whether something unusual was happening in the comet's plasma environment. But the reality is more complicated. Punch is designed to track the solar wind and faint coronal structures, not to capture the fine detail of cometary tails. Its detectors are optimized for broad, diffuse features, and the processing routines especially image stacking and background subtraction, tend to blur or even erase faint extended structures. As a result, the apparent stubby tail may be as much an artifact of the instrument and data reduction as a window into comet physics. Lucy's contribution came from much farther out. On September 16, as the spacecraft cruised 240 million miles from 3I Atlas, its cameras captured a faint streak extending toward the sun. This sunward-facing feature defied expectations. Comet tails are supposed to point away from the sun, pushed by the solar wind and radiation pressure. The Lucy team pointed to several possible explanations, including projection effects, a burst of forward scattered dust, or a transient jet angled just right. Still, the inconsistency was hard to ignore. Other spacecraft and ground-based images from the same period showed a classic anti-sunward tail, suggesting that Lucy's view was shaped by its unique vantage point and the limits of its imaging system. The conflicting tail directions between Punch, Lucy, and other datasets became a lightning rod for debate. Online forums and preprint discussions buzzed with speculation. Were these real features or artifacts of geometry and processing? NASA's official line leaned toward caution, emphasizing that single instrument anomalies should not outweigh the broader patterns seen across multiple platforms. Yet the puzzle remained, how could two NASA missions operating at the same time produce such different pictures of the same object? The answer for now lies somewhere between the quirks of camera design, the tricks of perspective, and the inherent challenge of imaging a fast-moving plasma-rich visitor from another star. While flagship missions struggle to deliver clarity, a different story unfolded in backyards and small observatories around the world. During the second week of November, amateur astronomers began posting images of 3I Atlas that stunned even seasoned professionals. Using telescopes and cooled cameras costing between $5,000 and $30,000, these hobbyists captured a level of detail that no billion-dollar spacecraft had managed. Between November 8 and November 19, a steady stream of images appeared on astronomy forums and social media, each one sharper and more revealing than the last. A pattern quickly emerged. Night after night, observers from Spain, Arizona, Australia, and Japan recorded the same features. A bright, crisp coma, a well-defined anti-sunward tail, and four to five distinct jets radiating from the core. The consistency was remarkable. Even as the comet tumbled through space, its rotation period measured at about 16 hours. 
These jets shifted in orientation and intensity, matching predictions from light curve analysis and confirming the nucleus's rapid spin. Amateurs coordinated online, stacking images and sharing processing techniques to tease out subtle changes in tail geometry. The result was a time-lapse portrait of a living, rotating interstellar visitor, far more dynamic than the static blurs in official releases. On November 16, a single image went viral. A high-resolution frame showed the comet's jets arcing across a backdrop of distant galaxies. Captured with a 16-inch astrograph and a high-end CMOS camera, the shot was reposted hundreds of times, cited by professionals, and even featured in mainstream news. The total cost of the setup, about $24,000, stood in stark contrast to the resources behind NASA's gallery. For many, this was the breakthrough moment. Proof that a dedicated community, armed with modest tools and a collaborative spirit, could reveal the true face of 3i Atlas in a way no official campaign had managed. Labels matter in science, but sometimes they become a shield rather than a lens. When NASA's livestream declared 3i Atlas a comet and closed the door on alternative ideas, the conversation narrowed before it even began. Yet the evidence refuses to sit quietly inside old definitions. The official gallery may have led with the comet label, but the data itself, especially from MAVEN's ultraviolet maps and the amateur imaging campaign, tells a more complex story. Here is an object with a hydrogen envelope stretching 33,000 miles, a coma that swells and shifts with every pulse of the solar wind, and jets that flicker and reorient in mere hours. Plasma dominates the environment, driving electric and magnetic fields that shape every visible feature. If this is a comet, it is one that breaks the mold in almost every way. The extremes do not hold up. There is no evidence for alien technology, but the idea that 3i Atlas is just another icy leftover from some distant star does not fit the observations either. Instead, what we are seeing is a visitor with a plasma-rich environment, a body whose behavior demands new categories or at least a willingness to question the old ones. Some theorists have floated the possibility of plasma-based structures called plasma bions, though this remains speculative and well outside mainstream acceptance. Still, the point stands, nature rarely respects our filing cabinets. So the question is not just what 3i Atlas is, but how we choose to see it. The gallery is public, the amateur images are everywhere. The raw data is available for anyone willing to dig. Instead of accepting labels handed down from a live stream script, why not join the analysis? Scrutinize the images, compare what billion dollar spacecraft and backyard telescopes both reveal, and ask what might be missing when we stick to comfortable categories. The next chapter in understanding interstellar visitors will be written by those willing to challenge the boundaries, not just by those who defend them. Today, billion-dollar missions and backyard telescopes both struggle to resolve what an interstellar visitor truly is. As definitions and data collide, the unanswered questions grow sharper, not softer. The plasma shaping. 3i Atlas is real, measurable, and largely ignored in official narratives. In an era obsessed with certainty, the cosmos keeps reminding us, some mysteries demand new eyes, not old labels. What do you see?